Hi YouTube. So, I've been making this video for a while. Um, been retaking the video and stuff every time I saw something, but then recently there was a very different new development in this video. Um, so here's my peacock eel first. And here are some pills that are dissolving in the tank. And the reason they are dissolving in the tank is because the tank was infested with columnaris. And I saw very early signs of that on July 20th at late at night when I thought I saw a little flake of food stuck on my angel fish's eye. Well, it's not, they're not my fish, but I'm taking care of them. So I like to think that they're mine. Um, so quick backstory about the tank. Uh, my grandma sold her condo and my brother bought this tank for my grandma so that she could have some fish because she loves fish. And he was taking care of it for her. He bought it three years ago for my grandma. And uh, when he went to the Air Force and when he went to the Air Force, he um, moved the tank to my mom's house where my grandma will now be living and when I asked him about the maintenance and stuff he said that it was all okay that it was all taken care of um, so I just went with it because you know he's had this tank for three years all the same fish in it for three years and then one day the angelfish just died after having really cloudy eyes and then I saw the Pocostomus, and the Pocostomus had really cloudy eyes. And then it started developing white spots. And so I looked it up, and then I saw that it was columnaris. Um, and by the time I was able to find what the disease was, because there are so many different uh, aquatic diseases you can get if you don't maintain your tank. Um, so I was finally able to find which one it was, and it was columnaris. And in the course of 15 hours, it killed the angelfish, two cherry barbs, and the UFO Pocostomus. And if you don't know what a UFO Pocostomus is, it's actually a hill stream loach. They're really small, and they look like little UFOs when they're swimming around. Uh, they're suckerfish, and they really, really love to eat algae pellets. Um, so, uh, it affected the Pocostomus, but the Pocostomus has not died which is really good because on top of having columnaris, the Placostomus also has ICH. And ICH is not something you wanna have in your tank either because it is a parasite and it looks like little, little white grains of salt and it attaches to the fish and it starts eating their skin where it's attached and it's really painful. And then columnaris is also known as cotton mouth. And that's what it looks like. You can see the like the eyes of the Placostomus are kind of like, they're very cloudy. That's what it looks like. It gets in the gills, it gets in the mouth, it gets in the eyes, it gets anywhere that they have had cuts. Um, and where these come from is uh, having a dirty tank where the fish becomes stressed out because it's dirty. <clears throat> And my brother told me that with his filtration system and everything in the tank that he put in there, that you only need to clean it out every couple months. Well, when I went to clean it out, um, as you'll see in the second half of the video, the old tank, there was a thin layer of rocks that he had in there. And when I was cleaning out the water, it kept getting darker and darker until it was about the last five inches of water, maybe 10 inches of water. Um, there was so much fish poop that I could not see through the water. And then when I was trying to take out the filter to buy new ones and replace it, it was stuck inside the pump. And so I had to yank it out and it was like black on one side and you never ever want that. Um, so unfortunately, because 
he couldn't keep track of his filtration system and everything. Um, the tank got dirty, the fish got columnaris and ICH, they started dying. And treatment is kind of expensive. So what I did was I emptied the entire tank, I put all the fish in different um, buckets and stuff, and I started just wiping everything down in the tank. I put the decorations in a bucket of hot water with three little capfuls of bleach in there to sanitize and disinfect the decorations, and then I washed them. I bought 50 pounds of rocks because ideally you want one pound of rocks for every gallon of um, of every gallon that your tank is. So this is a 55 gallon tank, but I got uh, 50 pounds of rocks for it. And that's good enough because it's a tall tank, it's not a wide tank. So as long as it has a couple inches, it's good. And so here's one of the videos. And this one shows the UFO Pocostomus, how it's covered in cotton mouth. You can see over its eyes and its head. This was a couple hours before it died, sadly. Um, I was just hanging off of him like that. And then the Pocostomus also, you could see it covering its eyes. But anyway, I replaced all the rocks. I moved around the decorations. I cleaned everything. I cleaned out the tank. Uh, I washed out the tank. I moved it to my backyard and just washed it out like crazy. And then I replaced everything in the tank. And so here is the angelfish, and I didn't know that the angelfish was sick and stressed out. Um, but here you can see it swimming backwards and forward, and it was doing that all night. And I had no idea that it was sick. I didn't know anything was wrong with it. And, you know, comparing this video to the last video, the water does have a different tint to it that I didn't notice. And... In the beginning of the video, the water is cloudy, but that's because of the medicine. And so with the medicine, it's uh, one pill per every five gallons of water you have in your tank. And you have to do the treatment for five days, and it should hopefully uh, kill off the disease. But the disease is extremely fatal, and it's extremely contagious. And basically all you can do is wait for your fish to die sadly because it just kills them so fast and there isn't very much you can do um, so yeah I wanted to make this video a happy video about you know getting a new eel and getting a hillstream loach also known as a UFO placo um, because they're different and you don't see them in tanks very often and they're fun to look at they're exotic fish and you know my brother's angelfish that was kind of big or was pretty big then there are the two cherry barbs also that died um, along with the angelfish and yeah it's just um i don't know it's a kind of sad situation it kind of sucks because there isn't really much there isn't really very much you can do to help them except give them the treatment and hope that they survive so what you want to do so that this doesn't happen to you is Grab a vacuum once a week, 25% water change every couple weeks, and a filter change once a month. Before I go, I do want to end on a happier note. So here is my peacock eel, hiding how he normally does. Um, you know, head sticking out of one end, tail sticking out of the other. Uh, they're very interesting fish, or aquatic creatures. I don't know if they are fish. But anyway, I hope you kind of learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, so yeah, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you in my next video.